Folks, this is bizarre. What did I shoot that for? I think I hit it with the SKS. I was still sighting it in. I don't know what was going on here. So most of my uh, shooting ability, look at that. Shot it right, I'm lucky I didn't damage the camera. I hit right at the base. Now, look at that great shooting that you didn't see. Oh my gosh, and I didn't see. Look at that, I even hit the can. Dinos are gone everywhere, look at that. Wow. <laughs> so I'm just nailing this thing with the 308 AR-10, I assume. Dino, none of the dino's gone again. Oh, there it is. All good, and nobody's seen it. Wonderful. So there's a remnants of, you're not gonna see it because I shot the camera off the lens, or off the stand. Wonderful. Gun culture guy at it again. All right. Second shoot will be this, okay? We know what it is. Bear Creek, upper 24, 20 inch, okay. Now, we're using 175. We'll do three 175s, and then I'll follow up with probably 168. Well, this is what I wanted to try. I'm trying to still sight this in a long distance. I like this guy, because this is a long distance gun for, for an SKS. So, using that Monarch, I think I got about five or six, and then a three maybe um, Tula. Tula hollow point. Let's see what it can do. By the way, let's get the adjustments off because it's a little off. A little off, I didn't manage to make left. Two clicks, two clicks up. Oh, at least, we're at that 550 mark. Oh yeah. So, 550 mark, blurry as heck. I'm trying to get my, aim it above. Uh, where'd I hit? Completely cannot see where I hit, folks. Let's try that down, a little bit less magnification. Uh, I thought I'd seen something hit to the left. Oh, am I off to the left that much? I'm low. Okay, I see that, very low. I think I was to the right. There we go, I seen the hit. Now, I was aimed to the left, so it means a couple clicks to the right. I'm gonna see if I can hold that spot. Oh yeah, we're right there. That was it, that was the last shot. So the last three rounds were Tula. They could have been doing better. Of course, I wasn't really sighted in. So that's it for this. Okay, you know, who's to say what I hit out there? I came, I came real close. So, uh, going with the big boy now. And what we need to do is, what we, we're gonna see where we're at. Now, we were to the right last time, but that was the wind. So I'm just gonna hold it right there and see where we're at. Uh, can't see. All right, I think we're ready. Uh, I think I'm there. I don't know. I had too much recoil. Uh, got plate movement. Don't know what I hit. Definitely spun the plate. I think I pulled slightly to the right. Two more, 168 grade. And we have a bail to fire, folks. Bail the fire because it failed to feed. What's going on here? Hmm. That last one could have been an undercharge or something. Oh my gosh. Did we blow the primer out of this one? Let's see, a missing primer. Look at that. What happened? 
Better overpower. Man. Well, that ain't good. Hope we didn't damage the gun. It definitely had an over. Could have been a really hot round. Huh. Oh, wow, I don't, just don't know. Now this one could have fed or not. Let's see if it fed. If this one fed, it should fire. I, I think I'm still to the right. I just don't know. We'll look at the video, but I'm awfully close. Could have been a plate hit. Now, nothing wrong with the Bear Creek. It's the ammo. <laughs> The reloads are mine. I don't know what happened to this other one. Look at the primer blown out, so that was really weird. Um, the pockets, primer pockets, as the cases get old, you lose primer pockets. So could have been a really hot round. Who's to say? Have to look at these other ones. We'll look at, uh, see what we're, we got here. Flat. They're pretty hot rounds, but I don't see any marks. Well. They're right about at their limit, but they should be okay. 